here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Packy Syphilosaurus's favorite nerd. You guys didn't think I knew what that was, did you? I'm not as dumb as I look. And today we are looking at Fans Projects Ikara, which is their take on no one. It's an original character of theirs, which is a Dinobot, a female Dinobot that turns into a Packy Syphilosaurus esque type creature. This was sent to me by them. I like to be upfront about that kind of stuff. While I am appreciative, I do have a lot of criticisms of this, which we, which we will dive into. She does come with a ton of accessories. Um, she comes with these two guns, uh, not a lick of paint on them, and they do look silly. However, we're going to give it a pass because they do interlock and become a base for the dinosaur to stand on, uh, which is smart and it does work for it. And I don't, I mean, this is like an added bonus, I think. So that's fair. She comes with two of these size. They're single molds. Uh, they, they do come to a nice point, no paint, and they do have this side peg, which pegs into here, where this throwing star is, where she also comes with two of them. I haven't checked to see if she can hold these. But yeah, there's just enough uh, five millimeter port there to hold on to that. And then she comes with these uh, two spear things. I haven't really found a, pl a place where they're supposed to be. I think the only storage is these side panels here and then her hands, but they do peg in to the back of there if you're interested, uh, which does give a, a kind of a cooler look, I guess. And uh, that's all the accessories. So now let's talk about her. So the head, as you can see, it does have some nice blue paint on it, both on the chin and on the forehead piece there, and then the eyes are painted blue as well, and it does look good. However, there is a lot of other places where they could have you know, spiced it up a little bit to bring it to life. It is kind of a, you know, a shadowy type of head sculpt. It gets lost in the mix, but it's, uh, it's, it's fine. I think it's a cool head sculpt. Maybe, you know, and this is kind of indicative of the Paggy Civilosaurus. I think it kind of works conceptually, um, but it is awfully dark. So the head is on a hinge here at the chest, so you can get it down to here, and then it's on a small ball peg from the neck into the head, so you can get down to there up to there and then the swivel so not the best um, good down but not great up everything else kind of works uh, for the arms you have a hinge here so you can get up and down and then it comes out to a ball joint so you get you can using the hinge and the ball joint you can get the 90 degrees and then you get the swivel all the way around no bicep swivel uh, at all and then you have a single hinged elbow, which gets you 90 degrees. We do have more of this blue paint on the arm, which does look good there. And then black paint, and that looks nice. Uh, we have a lot of kibble on this gal. We have this arm kibble here. We have the pachycephalosaurus head that kind of hangs off into the side. And then we have the tail, which kind of hangs off into the side as well. So it, it, there is a lot there. And then we have these hip skirts, which aren't, which aren't really great either to be honest. And then the chest, uh, we have black paint on her. Or actually, I think that might be, let's see. Yeah, it's red paint, and the reds don't quite match, which was my clue, uh, which is unfortunate. And then we have uh, the blue paint in there, which does still continues to look good. We have a ratcheted swivel, soft ratchet. That works fine. We have ratcheted universals for hips, so that's a nice touch. You get the full Van Dam. And the full Monty, so that's good. We have a thigh swivel, also ratcheted. And then we have a double jointed knee, which gets you to there. And then for the ankles, you have a swivel at the ankle, you have the slightest rocker on the ball peg, and then you have the slightest tilt up and down on the ball peg. Um, I didn't go over the wrist. Uh, the wrist you get actually a little bit extra. You get a swivel here, and then you get a little bit of a hinge in and out. So that is actually nice. Um, you know, given given the circumstances, I mean, this is definitely more of an action figure type of figure. Uh, if we're if we're trying to find, you know, kind of nice things to say about it, there is red paint here and black paint and blue paint, and it's all done clean, sharp, and well. To be to be fair, honest, and true. So let's get her transformed. There's a couple things you have to do just to kind of get yourself sorted. Uh, you had to flip her chest 180, connect the Pachycephalosaurus head. And connect the tail. And that's most of your prep work. The head turns around 180 and then tucks inside 
of here, and I don't know if it's best to... No, I don't... No, they... You know, it seems like it should fit up in that cavity a bit better. I will mess with it later on and see if I can't get a... Oh, the shoulders are in the way. There it is. There. So that's how you have the pegs of the shoulders sitting out there. All right, that makes sense. Uh, turn the feet around, flip them down, tuck in the heel spur, and then you bring the feet down. The arms just unpeg, and according to the instructions, it's just they just flap over top of the hand, basically, um, which is not the prettiest. I just pulled that out. And then you can uh, adjust the swivel the arms that ring there swivels around the wrist and then you can swivel the wrist as well to kind of get them in place. You want to bring the pelvis out and then they have these two kind of hip pieces that are on ball, little ball pegs. Take them and spin them around. It's a little, uh, for a large fingered gentleman like myself, it is uh, slightly challenging. And then tuck that little piece in there. And then these flanks come up. And they just sort of sit there. Uh, you would think they would peg into something. But they don't. Uh, that's not maybe true. They might be pegging. Yeah, they kind of notch into the side of this gray assembly. But it's not, um, I don't know. It's just not great. So make sure the hips are down. Then you can bring this tail down. It's on a double hinge, and that peg goes into that uh, portion there on her backside. Keep your couth, gentlemen. And I will try to... This is very awkward, isn't it? There, that'll do it. And then this came unplugged because it doesn't plug in nicely. And there we have it. And it's All right, so let's just go through it. We'll, we'll say your final thoughts. Um, we have this nice gold finish on the head. It looks great. We have this chrome on the tail. They don't match, so that's weird, but they both look good independently of one another. We have this gray here and here. That looks good. And then we have black paint around the eyes, which are red, and that all looks good. The head does not swivel because it has to peg in together. You do get a bit of a jaw. That's tight, but I know it works. There. And it has little... Kind of, kind of teeth-esque things up in the upper bit, if you can see that. Uh, not, you get a hinge here at the head, and that's about it for head articulation. The arms, we have the same shoulder ball peg, same elbow, and then the wrist swivel, and then the hand, um, you have a hinge here and a swivel. Nice gold claws, they look good. They match the head, not the tail. Same on this side. Uh, your waist swivel is now gone and your legs are exactly the same with the exception of the feet which are on uh, ball pegs, the same ball peg, but at the, at the foot you have a, a bit of an ankle tilt up. That's it. You do have these ports here which plug into the base and we'll show that here in a second. And then the tail articulation, you just have this little, uh, oh, I thought you have more, it's just a tight joint, so that's nice. You have a hinge here and here, so you can go all the way down to there. And then up, and I just bought this out, this, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's, you know, look, uh, uh, Pachycephalosaurus isn't the most interesting dinosaur to look at anyway, but there are certain things about this that I feel like kind of throw it away. Uh, the hands being a big part of it, that just looks very unfinished to me. And then this section not really filling out, um, you know, looks a bit strange. Maybe she would have had a more pronounced chest. Uh, you know, I don't know. And then the, the legs kind of work and the head and tail kind of work. So, And there she is plugged into the stand, uh, which is pretty much the only way you're going to get her to stand in a cool pose in dinosaur mode. She's just, you know, she's too unbalanced in this mode to, to really stand properly without the stand. So I do applaud them for, for including that. Size comparison wise, there she is with uh, their Smart Robin. Uh, which is, I, I don't have much in this scale to compare her to, but this is a, an earlier fans project release of a similar scale. 
Final thoughts wise, I think we're gonna have to split this up objectively and subjectively, okay? The negatives objectively are that the, the articulation is really hindered in dinosaur mode and the claws and the hands in dinosaur mode don't really clean up that well. Most of the negatives about this thing objectively are deal with dinosaur mode and getting to dinosaur mode because the positives for this are really the, the action figure element. If you were to tell me that they were going to make female Dinobots, I would say that it just doesn't work conceptually unless somebody like Fans Project were to do them because they have that more action figure element and they have that more, I don't know, those Japanese sensibilities where like they incorporate like the, I don't know, there's something about it that it, it's, it's not like most Transformers. It, it has its own, you know, make toys and Fans Project in terms of their chuggish stuff it has their own look to it where a female does work well and it's not that i don't want to see more female characters i do i just wouldn't have necessarily thought they would have worked in a dinobot but this one does it really does uh in, a, in, a, in the sense of an action figure and it's it's fun to mess about with and it has that ninja element to it now the negatives subjectively all right my opinion about this guy and, my, and the positives are pretty much the same like i like the action figure element of this gal but the negatives really is this look Fans Project used to be this innovating force, you know, where like they had this like interesting, intricate articulation, this interesting, intricate engineering to make the figure flow. I remember still to this day, my mind being blown, moving the torso section of Smart Robin. Like, look what they did. Look how smart this is. And this, like, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel. Like the transformation of this is boring. It's dull. It's not interesting. And it's not like, well, what do you want them to do? It's only so much you can do to get them to that mode. But look, there's still things that don't clean up right. Look at those hands. You got to work it out. You got, you got, you, you sacrifice all this stuff by having all this stuff hang off the back of her. Then you got to work it out. You got to work out things like these hands. It can't all, it, look, it can't be messy in both modes. One mode has to be sacrificed for the other. I get that. But this toy sacrifices are made in both modes, and that's the problem. And it's 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 disheartening because it's a company that I thought maybe like I, I really like their Die Atlas. I thought maybe they were on an upward swing, but this seems like more of that downward trend that we were used to seeing before. It's 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 boring. That, that that's my biggest personal complaint. It's boring to review. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel. It's probably boring to watch the review. It's a far cry from from kind of the standard that we used to hold this company at. And unfortunately, it's it's a lot more of this level stuff than it was before. It just seems like the passion is really gone. I thought maybe it was on its, its way back for a second, but this seems like more of the other. So, I mean, I, I feel bad having to say what I have to say. I, it's not that I don't appreciate them sending it to me to take a look at. I definitely do, but I just... I have to be honest, I can't like I can't recommend this. I can't recommend this with a good conscience because at its price point, it's just not worth it to me. If you really enjoy the action figure element, I can say that you could enjoy it in that regard, but the rest of it just kind of falls short, unfortunately. I think they should have focused on getting that snarl out, something that actually people want, instead of something that people don't really want and then they do half-heartedly. Just my opinion, folks. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.